Subnets are an exciting aspect of the internet computer that a lot of people are fascinated by. Could you tell me a bit more about them? Sure. So the internet computer blockchain provides a world computer that can host the most demanding Web3 services imaginable in a fully decentralized way without the need for traditional IT. And the aim is that one day, the internet computer will mostly replace traditional IT, such as corporate cloud computing services run by big tech, like AWS. To do that, it has to be able to scale limitlessly and seamlessly. And it does this by forming new subnet blockchains from nodes in its network. And each new subnet blockchain adds additional capacity for hosting smart contract software and the associated data and computation. And what's very, very cool um, about subnet blockchains is that clever cryptography combines them to form just one shared blockchain. And subnets are completely transparent to users and developers. So the internet itself involves subnets too. What are the similarities? So at its most basic level, the internet consists of subnetworks that are woven together by decentralized protocols to form just one network. New subnets add more capacity and more reach. What's important is that these subnets remain completely transparent. So for example, when I use Zoom here in Zurich to communicate with team members in California, I don't need to know anything about the different subnets that the video data is traveling across. And the same true for the developers of the Zoom application. They don't need to know anything about the subnets. As far as they're concerned, the internet is just one big network. Um, the same holds for the internet computer. It's just one big blockchain. Subnets are clearly a game changer. Are there any other blockchains that are using subnets today? Well, subnets have been part of the internet computer's architecture for many years, from long before um, the internet computer mainnet launch, uh, May 21. But recently, Avalabs, the company behind the Avalanche blockchain, began furiously promoting subnets as a great innovation of theirs. And of course, this is a fantastic compliment that we at the Definity Foundation appreciate because it shows just how much they admire the internet computer and, and all the work that's been done. The problem is that their use of the term subnet is greatly misleading for the blockchain community. Today, Avalanche subnets are really completely standalone blockchains. And a smart contract on one Avalanche subnet can't even send a message to a smart contract on another Avalanche subnet through a central hub, um, like smart contracts on Polkadot parachains can. And you know the Polkadot system is al already a big step on from where Avalanche are, al albeit those central hubs can become a bottleneck and, and a single point of failure. So for, for that reason, you know, I, I can't imagine their use of this term came from Emin Gunsura himself, who used to be uh, an associate computer science professor. Maybe you know, it came from that guy, what's his name, Kyle Roche, that, that naughty, naughty lawyer of theirs. Um, the, the bottom line is you can't fake this. A subnet blockchain is something that combines with other subnet blockchains to create one limitless blockchain in which all the subnets are completely transparent. And that means that today in blockchain, true subnets are completely unique to the internet computer. Subnets are how the internet creates one giant world network, and subnets are how the internet computer creates one giant world computer.